monthly vlogs and today is August of the year 2021 so last week after a trip to Spain which I had a huge epiphany I decided to just quit social media and slowly make the transition from marketing with social media to marketing without social media and that might sound a little bit scary especially if you're used to you know promoting your blog your products your services or your business in Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok, whatever other platforms that you're using. I was kind of scared at first and then I realized social media has only been around for like the last 10 years. So it's obviously people have been marketing without it and have been working well. Along with that, I also just felt I lost my sense of purpose. I felt like my life just got smaller and I wasn't really challenging myself the past year. I got very comfy and complacent about a lot of things and I was just tired of feeling that way. You know, when you get too comfortable and you start feeling uncomfortable because it's too comfortable. Does that make sense? Um, that's how I started feeling and I was like, well, I need some sort of purpose and I also need to make more money. You know, I really like video editing. I get a kick out of it so much for my own videos. I wonder how much it would feel if I were to, to do it for other people, for other entrepreneurs, YouTubers, people who are really passionate about what they do. I wonder how it would feel to be doing it for them and to be making money from it. So I decided to offer video editing services and it's not announced on my blog yet or my email newsletter, which by the way, email newsletter is one way to promote your business without social media and also a lot more powerful and effective. You might be interested on the behind the scenes of what it looks like to set up a service um, or sell a service on your blog and how it would look like marketing it and making your website look like you're selling a service so it's not hard for people to look for. But right now I'm just gonna be eating breakfast. I brewed some coffee and I mixed some protein powder with it so it acts like creamer, so it looks like this. And then breakfast is very simple. It's like a croissant that I get from the bakery. So here's how I'm going about selling a new service on my website and this might be um, interesting to you if you wanna sell something on your blog, especially when you've already built an audience or maybe you haven't yet and you wanna already sell something so you can already earn some form of money the moment you launch your blog and start finding people and clients. Anyway, this is my ideas notebook. I take it everywhere with me when I travel, even when I'm running errands because sometimes a thought will come into my mind after listening to like a podcast for like inspiration and I make sure to write everything in here. And I feel like having an ideas notebook is good practice because once you know there's a place for your ideas, more ideas actually come to you. If you're wondering why you're not getting these ideas, you gotta keep that mindset and have a place for it to actually like exist, not just in your head. Because once you write them on paper, it exists in the physical world now. And then it makes it more likely for you to fulfill whatever the idea is. So I don't know how in order this is gonna be because I'm kind of all over the place and still getting my ideas put together. But what I first did was go into different Facebook groups that I'm in surrounded um, about blogging and business and ask them like, Hey, I'm a video editor. What's the hardest or most frustrating thing you find about video editing if you do videos for your blog? A couple people have answered and then I'll take their words and use what they've said and just write it down into this notebook. That way I can use their wording and use that into my copy or into like the sales page for what I'm selling. It's the same thing I did for the Bold Blogger Academy. I did a survey with my audience and used their exact words on my sales page. And it saves a lot of time and helps them feel a lot more understood because it's their words. And I'm saying it to them and they're like, yeah, wow, she really gets me when really you're just listening to yourself. <laughs> anyway, so here's an example of um, a post I did on a Facebook page. This is a Facebook page that I'm currently in. This is Jeannie's Business with Carrie Green. I really love this one. You should definitely join it. But I basically go in the post and ask, um, for those of you who edit videos, YouTube, social media, blog, online course, what part of video editing do you find the hardest or most frustrating? I'm a video editor researching topics for my blog and newsletter. And this person, I'm so thankful for, she <laughs> gave like a whole paragraph and I was able to get so much um, ideas into my notebook here on like the problems that people experience when it comes to editing videos. So I was able to get a lot of insight and learn more on what makes it hard for solo entrepreneurs, side hustlers, just people who wanna like 
impact their community, what issues they come across when it comes to video editing. So you can ask your audience or just go on Facebook groups on what issues people have and then use those exact words and put that into your blog post, your sales page, your copy, into anything that you think it will be useful for. So I did that in a few Facebook groups and I wrote everything in here and now I, what I want to do is create a service page offering that service on my blog because right now nothing on my blog actually shows that I'm doing video editing of course because it's a new service but nothing that I sell is really obvious on my blog people have to go look for it which makes sense because I'm not making any sales at the moment because it's people can't find it what I'm really learning is how important having a website is it's like your biggest asset and if you can make it look good then Perfect. What I'm doing now as I launch this new service is launching first and tweak later. This is what I learned from uh, Michelle Rohr and Amy today. So basically what I'm going to do is launch that I launch and show that I have a video edit editing service and then tweak my website later to really show that I have that service. But first I just have to get the bare bones skeleton in. So that sounds like a really good idea, but half of me is really struggling with wanting to create a great website. Um, and redoing my website because that's been on my mind for a long time and then having the service page and everything so and I'm feeling it in my heart and I'm actually just want to get it done and get get it ready so I'm planning on just redoing my website I want it to reflect more of my brand and what I'm doing now and what I'm selling that my website isn't just a blog I'm also these other things too and I want people to learn that like the moment they enter my website I have all my ideas here I did a little bit of research yesterday on what I want on my homepage and I'll show you actually who I look at when it comes to beautiful websites that sell their stuff but so I have a blog this is Jenna Kutcher's website I love her website it's beautifully designed you can see like how there's an overlap of this box over here it has these folds of her and it has her about on what she does um, it promotes her email list with a quiz what she's featured in, although I'm not going to have all of these things for what I'm featured in. Um, it, it also promotes her free resources and her podcast and her blog. I also love melissagriffin.com. She markets her quiz over here. Um, she has an about me there. And if you're looking at websites and you're interested in where people got their designs from, you can scroll all the way to the bottom of the website and then there's usually like a site credit, like design by blank or site credit and then you click on the link. And I found out that for both Jenna Kutcher and Melissa Griffin, they bought a customizable theme from the tonicshop.com. I looked at it, so beautiful, like only to find out they're like a thousand dollars. It's super expensive. I would love to consider that in the future, but I'm definitely not at that place right now. So what I'm gonna do is stick with templates by Blue Chic. Definitely much more affordable. It's like $130 compared to a thousand dollars. And it gets the job done. I can have either site and they will both get the job done. Everything else that I mentioned here on this video will be in the description box. That way all the quick links are there for you to access it. So that's how I'm going about things. Now I'm going to go write an email letter, a newsletter to my email list, still an email letter, and let them know that I'll be offering video editing services and that I'm looking for people to edit the video for free. So I have some sort of portfolio to put onto my services page and then hopefully get their testimonials because testimonials are very important. So I just finished writing the whole announcement on my email newsletter and sent it to 4,600 people on why I'm quitting social media and the whole video editing service launch. I finally pulled the trigger and bought a WordPress theme from Blue Chic and I can't wait to get started and get the new look of my blog. I've been putting this off for like a year and now that my brand has developed in the last few years, it's time to update my website to reflect that brand and tell people like, this is my course, this is my website, these are my free resources, and this is me, hi, and this is my blog. That way people can, you know, navigate easier once they enter the homepage, because right now when they enter my blog, it's just blog. I've realized this before, but I'm realizing it again. Having a website is a really great asset. Even when you're growing your following on YouTube, you own your website. You can do anything you want with it. No one can take it away from you. Hi, so it's been about two weeks since I last updated and in the last two weeks I've just been solely focusing on my website and 
I'm really happy to see everything is already like coming together except for a few pages and maybe some grammatical errors that I will see after taking a break from editing the whole website. Anyway, so this is how the website looks like. It's pretty much like how I wanted it to be in my head. So everything is like a hub. So there's um, what I'm all about, what I do, my help statement, who I am, my about. Um, and I have this little event, little part that says choose your adventure. So these are the services that I offer. And then my YouTube channel. And then of course my course and my blogger planner. That way people know that I have these things to sell. And then another about me, another service, um, another call to action for my services. And finally my blog <laughs> and a free training. Um, more call to actions to my free resources. And then another call to action to my newsletter and another about me and then a little connect with me on Instagram kind of thing. So I'll put a link down below so that you can see it. And I'll also show the picture of how my blog used to look like before. And you can tell that how it first looked like was really more like a blog. So like the moment I published my homepage, I got a sale on my Etsy shop and for my blogger course. So I don't actually know where the person came from or like if they actually found it through my homepage, but it's nice to know that just like the little actions of me trying to like grow my business is actually going towards to growing the business and helping me earn money. So that's always a nice thing to know. So the part that took the longest was actually writing like what to say, like my I help statement, my about me page, my services page, and making sure that everything sounds clear, there are no errors when people read it, and that there's a flow when people go into the different websites after they click into a link. And that for me is the hardest part, making sure the experience is like cohesive and consistent. And I had to do a lot of uh, rethinking about my brand because what I had before on my website isn't really aligned with what I do now. So it was just time to change it. Plus like, I think ever since expanding to offering a new service, it's helped me feel a lot more alive in the last two weeks, which I'm really happy for. And that on top of just stepping away from social media, my head is a lot more clear. I feel a lot more grounded and I just feel like a lot more like myself, which I haven't really felt like so much in the last few months. I feel like I've just been floating and I realized I think I just needed a goal, something that will actually stretch myself and get me excited to wake up every morning to do. And that's really brought in like a lot of positive feelings inside me that can be put towards a positive action. So yay! <laughs> so something I've noticed after reaching past 10,000 subscribers on YouTube is that I get a lot more emails and people approaching me to try out their products or to gift it to me in exchange for like a collaboration to promote onto my YouTube or my Instagram or wherever. And, and also I get some companies who just want to gift me something just for the sake of being generous and gifting me. I got gifted this from Diety. It's like a mini microphone. The microphone I'm actually using right now is also gifted from them. This one's a dual microphone so if I'm like right behind the camera the microphone is also pointed at me because there's two this one's the mini so i'm gonna be trying this out for my next video and then i think this is like my first paid collaboration ana luisa or ana luisa but then they sent me jewelry and i really like their stuff because i always see their uh sponsored posts on instagram it's like oh this is pretty but i'm always thinking like I already have a bunch of jewelry, I should just focus on that. And then they contacted me and I was able to negotiate an exchange into like a paid collaboration, which I'm really happy for. So yay! <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. That concludes the August vlog for this month. So for everything I mentioned on the vlog, all the links will be in my website and the link to that blog post will be in the description box. Please don't forget to check out my website. I worked so hard on it and I hope you guys like it too. But please like and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!